Connor! Thank God you are here. Prudence is missing. She went out to gather some things this morning and never returned. I'm worried sick. What if she's hurt? I will find her. The dog might help track her down. He has a good nose. Come on, boy! She has been gathering the evening primrose almost every night. She is obsessed with the oil it yields. That is all going to stop now. I don't understand why she wants so damn much of the stuff. Come here. She can't be far. We should split up to cover more ground. Rudin! Thank you so much, Connor. Thank you. I don't want to think what might have happened if you had not arrived. I saw some primrose growing there, and the bear just came charging at me. Why are you gathering primrose? Well, Warren and I have been trying to conceive a child for a long time now. I re... Rodents! Are you all right, my love? I'll be fine. Thanks to Connor. Thank you, Connor. Once again. Hello, Connor. Hello. Is something the matter? No, nothing that need worry you. I would not pry, but please know that if there was anything I could do to help, I would. It's all right. Connor already knows half of it. As you know, we've been trying to have a child, Connor, for a long time. Thus far, we've not been blessed even once. It takes its toll after a time. You must not force such things. Nature will grant you with the young one when the time is right. We hope you're right, Connor. At the very least, we are at peace here.
be worse. Eight months in the Kentucky frontier, trapping and skinning elk. Well along my third bale when they came upon us. No less than a dozen Shawnee hunters had us surrounded at the point of musket and arrow. My bush partner froze up stiff. The fear chilled me the same, but I managed to muster what little Shawnee I was knowing. The leader spoke too quick, but I gathered we was poaching. Having crossed into their territory a month or so hence, their musket barrels stared us down, the heads of their arrows smiling sharp at our backs. I bumbled a proposition and busted Shawnee. Our full peace, my three bales, and my partner's two less a half, in exchange for us quitting the Shawnee bush on our own legs. Leader nods to his boys. They load up our take and start back into the trees. The honcho stays a spell longer, just staring. Staring right through us with his two black eyes. And then he was gone. We picked up, set back east the way we came. Months of profit lost, but our own hides intact. Never saw the Shawnee again, but I know they was following us. I could feel their eyes on our backs, clear to North Carolina.
Get off me, but this! Have a try! Thank you, my friend. They had a little too much beer and didn't like the sound of my voice. I was only talking to that girl. Your accent is unfamiliar. Where are you from? North of here. Province de Quebec. And what brings you to Boston? I am a miner by trade. But it's hard to find work. People don't listen to me because of my accent. It might be our meeting was fate. I hail from a village just a few miles north of here. There are the beginnings of a mine. I do not know what is in there, but you might find what you are looking for within. I'll come have a look. If there is something good, maybe we'll talk, eh? Ah, Connor! What a relief! You came! <laughs> Allow me to... <laughs> to introduce you to William Dawes and Robert Newman. Your letter said John Pitcairn was here. Aye. He's readying an assault on Lexington, where Adams and Hancock have taken shelter. After that, he will march on Concord, hoping to destroy our weapons and supplies. You must help us. Only tell me where to find him, and I will put a stop to this. He has dozens, if not hundreds, of soldiers at his command. You cannot hope to match him by yourself. But fear not, for you will not have to. We have an entire army of our own, merely awaiting the order to take up arms. Then you must call upon them. Indeed. You and I. Cross the Charles River and rouse the boys. William, I need you to take the overland route and do the same. Robert, I need you up in Christchurch. Light the signal. Two lanterns, our enemy comes by sea. No time for dawdling, my friend. We have lives to save. Come on. Ah. They've only left a single horse. We'll have to ride together. Ah. You take the reins, I'll navigate. Quickly, Connor, get on the horse!
I'll guide you towards those we need to alert. Follow my directions, and we'll be done in no time. I believe we are on course. Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Excellent! We are right on course! Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Keep going! Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Redcoats. What are they doing here? They must be scouts. Be careful, Connor. We mustn't let them warn the others. Keep going! Keep going! We should dismount for this. It'll be quicker and quieter. This is it! You have got the right place! Let everyone know that the regulars marked for Lexington and Concord! The British are coming! Back in the saddle, my friend! We have more people to warn! Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Keep going! Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. I believe we are on course. To the left, Connor! I believe we are on course. Did you hear that? Could be redcoats. Careful. This way, Connor! We should dismount for this. Be quicker and quieter. Careful, Connor. There might be other scouts around.
This is it! You have got the right place! Spread the word. The regulars are coming out. At once! Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Left! Keep going! Yes! This is it! This is the way! To the right, Connor! To the right! Go right, Connor! Let us continue the search on foot. Yama. This is it! You have got the right place! The regulars are coming. Here! We're here! Get them! Master! We need to get away from them! Connor. If you insist on fighting them, Connor, ensure you win. It was much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. Get back on the horse, Connor. Left! Turn right! Keep going! Excellent! We are right on course! I believe we are on course! To the left, Connor! We should dismount for this. 
be quicker and quieter. This is it! You have got the right place! Where the devil is he? Are you sure we are in the right place? Oh, sure I'm sure. Prescott? Evening, gents. Listen, the regulars are out. You need to rally your men. And, uh... put on some trousers. At once! Welcome to Lexington, Connor. Now let's find Hancock and Adams. Hmm. No sign of Dawes. I hope he's all right. Paul, Connor. Good to see you. You need to leave. The Redcoats are coming. Aye, so Williams told us. Let them conduct their little search. They'll find nothing. You don't understand. Pitcairn intends to kill you. I'm afraid it's true. I suppose we have no choice then but to go. What of you three? Dawes and I will continue on to Concord. Connor? It's best you stay here and help our man John Parker hold the town. It'll give us time to spread the word. Come to buy or sell? What's your pleasure today? I do for you, Mania.
Stand your ground, men! <coughs> Don't fire! <coughs> Unless fired upon! But if they mean to have a war, let it begin here! <coughs> Pitcairn. Disperse, you damn rebels! Lay down your arms and disperse! What the deuce are you doing? Hold your position! Cravens! Traitors! They are not coming back. You will have to make do with those who remain. Don't you lecture me or not. Return fire! Return fire! You need to get to Concord and warn the others. Show this to whoever leads there. Should be a man by the name of James Barrett. <coughs> Go on now! <coughs> Come on! We'll meet up with the others in Concord! With little time. Stick together, boys, and keep the pace. To Concord, lads. Blood's been spilled in Lexington, and there's more to come. The regulars are on the march. You don't say. Then why do you think I'm met up here? Go home, or you get yourself killed. I have enough to worry about without some green boy looking to play at hero. I can vouch for him. John Parker as well. Where's Revere? Captured. What? Fear not. That man's no stranger to sticky situations. He'll be fine. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> Your ladies finished gossiping? Parker seems to believe you're not completely useless, so... I suppose there's a thing or two you might be able to help with. When the fighting starts, we'll need to hold those positions there. They're critical to the defense of Concord. Good boys. Not used to soldier, and they need some with the experience to direct them. That's something you can do. You'd best be telling the truth. You have my word. Then I suppose all that's left to do is wait. Sir! Man the barricades! No! Ensure my men hold those positions. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. What would you have me do? Listen carefully. The Redcoats will form firing lines. Order the men to shoot just before the line is ready. Too soon and they'll miss their targets. Too late. And the enemy will open fire first. Understood. And if any of those bastards make it through, engage them. You must keep my men alive.
Open fire. Wait for the signal. Open fire. Go! Wait for the signal! Wait for the signal! Go! Prepare yourselves. Open fire. Wait for the signal. Open the fire. is about to be taken. Make ready. Fire now. Wait for my signal. Prepare yourself. Fire! My signal. Prepare yourselves. Prepare yourselves. Fire! Make ready. Wait for my signal. Make ready! Fire! Make ready! Go! Wait for my signal. Wait for my signal. Wait for the signal! Hold fire! Open fire! Wait for the signal! Wait for the signal! Go! Wait for my signal! Go! Make ready! Fire now! Make ready! Fire now! Wait for the signal! Fire now! Open fire! Hold fire! Make ready! Open fire! Shoot! Hold fire! Make ready! Go!
Prepare yourself. Fire! Make ready. Open. Fall back! Fall back! We did it! They're turning tail! It takes a true monster to do something like this. At least they're gone. I should have struck when I had the chance. Do you know where Pitcairn could have gone? Back into the withered bosom of the British, no doubt. So that he may regroup and plan his next atrocity. I need to find him. Every day I wait, more will suffer. Chin up, friend. Many who should have died today now live because of you. And, and what of them? We do the best we can with what we've got. It is not enough. Hmm. It never is. For the support of the glorious cause. I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I, this day, declare with utmost sincerity, I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. Truly, there as is no pay, man better sir, suited I to beg the task. Leave to assure really, the Congress that I can no think of pecuniary several. Consideration could have Charles me Lee. To have accepted this arduous employment at the do I know you? I would not expect happiness. you to remember. <laughs> I Come, Connor, there's someone I want you to promise. meet. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. Sorry to pull you away Those, like that, I but doubt not they the will last thing we need is the two of you coming to blows. Now, Connor... Allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed Commander-in-Chief, George Washington. Ah, so you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. <laughs> as humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. Tell me you have news of Pitcairn. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're gonna get at him is if we draw him out. Now, lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. You have my thanks. No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you head to Boston, Connor.
very much. Still here, are you? I was just wondering, what happens now? There's quite a lot to do. Commander Washington must determine when and where we'll strike next. And we need to get to work on our message. Message? We must contact the broadsheets at once. Ensure it's clear to everyone that it was the Loyalists who fired first in Lexington. But no one knows who fired first. Which is exactly why we must spread the news quickly. We'll determine public opinion. This seems dishonest. Perhaps, but so what? People must believe we acted in self-defense, else we've committed treason. But you have. Better to bow and scrape before a tyrant, then? Is that what you suggest? No, of course not. No one should be denied freedom. And yet, to change the truth, it seems a dangerous road to travel. Understand, Connor. This is a war fought not just on the battlefield, but within hearts and minds as well. There's nothing wrong with a bit of theater, especially if it saves lives. <laughs>